In a week where the federation, that is FUFA, has come out to confirm to the football stakeholder in Uganda that football will have to wait for yet another month, that is the Uganda Premier League, to start. We have a lot of positives from the football club because this week, 22 players were part of the various national teams, that is the senior national team for Uganda, the under 20 and the under 17. Plus, we have the fans speaking about that decision by the federation. And also, we have a guest for this week's show, my name is Magero Moses Mwanje, and let's walk this journey together. Now to start it off with the club news this week, uh, the training sessions at KCCFC have fully returned, and that is to say the club had a friendly game this week. If you know the Chirunda, versus Mondi friendly game that normally happens within the first team of KCCFC. That happened this week and the players were really in full time mood because they were really happy. They have missed this moment for some quite time. I happened to speak to some of the players and uh, players like Balinya, Julius Poloto, the assistant captain, Gift Ali, they were really, really happy because uh, the club is going to be participating in things like the Uganda Premier League, the Stanby Uganda Cup and the CAF Confederations Cup, which is to start later this month according to the CAF calendar. And the players were really, really in top spirits because, I mean, they're about to, I mean, get back to the game, play the game of football, and they're back to full-time training. That means they're ready to go, and the Uganda Premier League season will also be resuming very soon. So, a lot of positives from the players, and I should say the fans out there, be very happy because your stars are back to full-time training. Still about the club news this week, I told you 22 players from KCCFC are away on official duty, that is national team duty. That is five players for the senior national team, Mr. Charles Lukwago, Iguma Dennis, Kato Samuel, Anukani Bright, and Brian Ahewa. Those are part of the senior national team. And for the under 20 team, they summon 10 players from KCCFC. And just to mention some of them, we have Joram Subuga, Anthony Emojong. Those are goalkeepers. Sandy Opio played for KCCFC last he had the senior team and made his debut against Toro. He's got his chance for the national team for the first time and has been for summoned for the under-20 national team. Godfrey Oyaka, Samuel Senyonjo, also part of the KCFC senior team. Joseph Kafumbe, Musa Ramadan, Serada Steven, Joseph Kizabu Kenya and Kawaya Andre, new signing at the football club. Those are the 10 players that represent the under-20 national team for the AFCON Zono qualifiers that will be starting very soon. And for the under-17 team, Seven players, teenagers, have been summoned still for national duty. And these are Ibrahim Juma, a left back at the football club. He also had his debut for the senior team, that is KCFC, last season. That was in the game against Doves FC in Masindi. And then players like Ogwang Joseph, a defender, still at the football club. Mukisa Simon, a youngster. I should say the next big thing, a defender still. Sebulime Payas, a midfielder. Mwanje Elvis Eddy also made his debut for KCFC senior team last year. That's last season in against Doves FC in the Stanbic Uganda Cup. Then Magogo Shafiq, a striker, and then Mao Oscar, a player who scored 16 goals before the FUFA Juniors League was aborted last season. So those are the 22 players, five from the senior team, that is the Uganda national team, then 10 for the under 20 national team, and seven for the under 17 national team. We really, really wish them the very best because we know these players are going to raise the flag for KCCFC higher and the banner for the national team even highest. So we wish you all the very best and please represent the football club at your ultimate best. Now still about the club news this week, FUFA released a statement about the resumption of football in Uganda. And just to read a few things from that statement arising out of the deliberations of the meeting between FUFA, UPL board and the 2020-2021 UPL clubs, FUFA hereby issues the satula on the resumption of football, that is the Star Times Uganda Premier League. Now FUFA will procure a government authorized authority as the official FUFA COVID testing center and only results from such a center will be recognized by the football regulations. But as KCCFC, we're already ahead of time because we already tested our players. I mean, that's how, I mean, classy we are when we say we're more than just a football club. Then FUFA will also procure in-house medical personnel on a full-time basis. That is for a renewable period of six months to undertake COVID-19 responsibilities as required of FUFA. Still about that release, licensed players and technical staff for the 2020-2021 season will undertake sporting roles 
at training and matches will undergo a mandatory COVID test. Okay. And then still about in some of the things from that uh, release, FUFA shall undertake the cost of testing referees and match commissioners and will also pre-finance the cost of COVID-19 tests for club players and officials. Okay, pre-finance. You can take that information in any way you want. I'm only reading this. And then um, FUFA will issue COVID-19 competitions regulations to detail the execu execution of the authorized matches and training by the 15th of November, which will have strict observation of the training grounds and the stadium SOPs. And then there will be sanctions and fines up to the exclusion of the club from FUFA competitions for repeated and gross violation of the COVID-19 competition rules. And finally, the FUFA Club Licensing Committee will issue 2020, 2021 Uganda Premier League Club licenses by 3rd of November 2020. I mean, as I speak, the 3rd of November has already passed. I hope the football clubs already have these licenses. Well, the FUFA Competitions Directorate to issue players' license and bench permits by 10th of November 2020, that is on Tuesday next week, and the UPL Secretariat shall release the fixtures by the 10th of November 2020, which is still Tuesday of the next week, and the Uganda Premier League will kick off on 3rd December 2020. That means the Uganda Premier League stakeholders will have to wait yet one month up until Uganda Premier League football resumes in Uganda, but we are still hopeful because we know football in Uganda will resume. That's, um, I mean, the president a while ago said football was fine to resume. They said SOPs, but as we speak, the league has been pushed again until 3rd December, but we are very hopeful that football resume in Uganda. That is it from FUFA, and that's all about the club news for KCFC this week. And now it's from this decision that we picked a topic for the fans, for the fan zone segment this week. And we asked them, what do they think of the extension of the start of the Uganda Premier League 2020, 2021 season by the Federation, which is FUFA. And then they gave the opinions. And also, we asked them about the Samoan players, that is the under-20 national team and the under-17 national team, the KCFC players that have been Samoan for this team, 10 for the under-20, 7 for the under-17. They gave the opinions and we have them here on the KCFC TV show. Avalami Bafe, Sanso Kubalaba, Amanya Gange, Zo Bed in Subuga, Gandimuagizua KCCA, Omanimu Guange, the Agriculture Officer, Kola Nemukono District Local Government, Natandika, Okuagira KCC, Emiaka Namu Evidi Ejise, in 1977. Era, Mademuagizua KCCA, Okuvoro, Namu Embaita, Muje Muagre KCC, a Ximu, a single Sabum Pira, Muganda. Amanya Ganganze is the Rule Muanga, the Mutuze Wemukono, Muchisoga, the Muagizua KCC, Lukure, Atachu Kachuka. Amanya Gangan, Pio America somewhere, Ronga, Sisi de Mayanga Yanga, Oktuka, and Oku, Kogera KCC, Gatimia Feo Rango, Ovenganzi. Mukuzanya umpira, ngaira teri yo team iza kujenga anga, nganze yunga buenda ba. Ah, mikwano janga ba galwa. Liji ya fe, yo umpira tujirindi li dokumale banga dene, neka kati fufa ya kajonge za emi rundi esatu. Ah, kati batu gambe jaku damu desemba. Echintu chendo oza anti no, sichi rungi nzengo muwagizu umpira, ato wa KCCA. Eh? Kubanga klabi ya ngegenda kutandi kukuzanya ku continent. Is a Yenek team is a Zata and the Kadda, Okuzanum Pira, Banga Mawanga Mulala, Bata and the Kadda, Chendoza, Tejo Chiza, Emabega, Umpiragua Uganda, Chizu Amabega, Umpiragua Africa, Kubanga, Abantu to get Okubanga to Samba Nabo, Baja Kubanga, Tebo Bata and the Kadda, Gabazani Bafe, Tebawa Guadua Burundi, Okuita Muliji, Nok Testinga, Oboku Gazesa, Obukodio Wabe. Nengeli jiba sambo mpira. Noru wecho nzengo mwagizi. Mkubiro mulanga fufa. Esalewo mpira kutandike. Wadabagizi tetunaba kutuzuja kubanga tukomio mbisawe. Nechi jaku ya amba klabu ya funga kesisi e. Ne klabu endala okutwala mpira kwa Uganda kumutindo ugudako. Kukulumira fufa. Oloko ngeza uliji ya feminundi. E satu miramba. Netu suvi zane jau. Netu suvi zane jau. 
bingi ebitukosa tukosebwa mukulabirira abazanyi okubaliisa okuba training ya atenga basasulwa buli lukasera tuse no basa sule misala tuno kuba wa ebintu e, ebakoyesa wakane ebirala bingi nyo ba coach bona tuno kuba basasula abakozi ba KCC bona basasula senga team bata stretcher teleta sente oweza sura abakozi twate nache tukola twa tukolele de bwerere so we nusonge yo kukumira nyo kufa etu yambe ezeli dia fe kubanga tuli bumbera ambi abazanyi bafe bali bubi abo wagizi bali bubi emitima jibaluma na abazanyi benyini twenza kugula muzanyi wongoyo no mutekao ngati wa mugula ku yambe atena atula nga fufe yongezayo emulista wa bulisawo yongezayo so no lensonge yo siri musanyu fu eri fufa etu yambe Esumulo mchila kafe, tusumulo kusama. Mpuli denti fufa yongeza yoliji, e, jonge, ya kajongeza ye mirundi ya jisoba mwesa tu, na ye nganzo mua gizi wa kesisi, e, mpuli danga chinu mamutima guange, era chinu miradara, so nga de mba de njagara, hava sambi bafawa wabenga, hava sambo mpilogo, tuwenga nafe tunyu miruwa, uruembele no jetulimu, e, ya nao kila weshiru wa dechi COVID, wabenga batu sambila kumopila, nga batu wela kuzi screeni za fe waka, nga tubaraba, nga tutu za bongo, Mwepula liye mili mweli liwo nesente, tuwenga tunyu milo mpira wa munga tulie wakeyo, weba tusa. So, uh, tusa vila uh, haba kesi zi eba venga baba tamo vonambilo, uh, elwe banga libaba ongeza yo, libenga lito kama angu. Basuboloku banga badamo okusamba omopira, na faba wagizi wawe, tuwenga tudamu ama nje tuli yona. Eda tuongele okusaba government, ebenga etula wa muna HIV na chakufa, babenga basobola okogera nabo tusobola okugoberera amateeka ne wankubalete tuze mu kisawe kugulaba tusobola okugula bile waka so ngate naba sambi basobola okugoberera SOPs ezatekebawo abe kachiko kebyo bulamu twechito kitusabenga tusaba abafufa batushiyambe mu ngafa bawagizi ba KCCA eh, tulibo binyo tufa tetuchalaba ku mupira tetuchagulira tulibo binyo dala dala tulibo binyo mukwado gwange gwaliye mwagizi wa KCCA sabage kanaba ku kitegera njagalo kitegere Mti under 17 national team kesi si ba iseka ba zani msambu ate under 20 ba iseka ba zani kumi mzengo mza mzengo mwagizwa kesi si chini yongele ukunda ganti kesi si gani kuwele timu ya mani ngabu ebadde okumara ate miaka mira la mingi noro echo chichi chentegeza chenga ba gobobo ya yongo limu ana muto gori mdu muka muto gori agalo kusambu mpira. Ogutwale ku national team jangwe gate ku KCC kubanga KCC ye team yoka esobola kutwala ku national team ngabo oli dabo bibayise era njagalo kubaka kasa na bazanyi bafe na bawagizi bafe naje muri muongero kujjo kuwagira mpira muongero kuwagira KCC kubanga mulabe kubana bano bibayise bagenda kubera nga batu alo mpira gwa Uganda ku level dako ngate batandikira mu KCC Mwongere kuwagira, mje mwagire, kubanga KCC, ye klabu ya Uganda, ye klabu ya. Jimu sanyu funyo, olwa fufa, okuita abazanyi wa Fabanda 20, ni under 17, kutimu ye guanga. Katibu otunulire nyo, fetu singiride, abazanyi wa Feba singiride, kite geza, anti KCC ya amanyi, okusinga kila abuzo, nazo, nazo, nendala. Eda nsubida, sinuletigenda koma lero, no mwako kuja na guli, na guli kutu joku wanga tukule mbede. Nolecho nebaza nyaba tesi tesi, haba tesi tesi wana wafe, okubanti wa itibwa, okubanga yuba singiride, kutimu ye guanga. Nyeza nzanyo neyanzi iki. And that's it from the fan zone this week and the opinions you've just had are for the KCCFC fans and not KCCFC management. And we respect the opinions for the fans because the fan zone segment for this show is theirs. And that's why they speak everything they want to speak especially about football matters and also especially about KCCFC. Now we'll be going to a break and when we return, we have a guest on this week's show. We have him telling us his football journey and a lot more about how life has been ever since he signed for KCCFC. A lot more after this break. Now welcome back from that break and just like we told you we have a guest for this week's show and he was the first signing for KCCFC for the 2020-2021 summer transfer window. He'll be telling us his name and then we take it on from there. Sir. Mm, thanks for honoring me. My name is Mugume Ashraf, a, KCC, a KCCA player and I play as a attacking midfielder. Wow, Ashraf, um, it's been about five months since the club confirmed that you were the first signing for the 2020 
2021 summer transfer window. First of all, how do you feel about, I mean, you being now part of KCCFC? Like, I feel blessed because it was my dream to join the team. And like, it's like I'm still in the dream. Mm. But I feel so blessed to be among the, the squad and to, to be in the team, which is because everyone knows the best team in East Africa. Wow, you've said it was your dream to play for KCFC. Um, are, are you now, I mean, over the moon now that finally you, you're part of the team you've always wanted to play for? Like, I, I don't believe it. Mm. I don't believe it because mm. it was a hassle. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I can't, like I'm, like I'm still in the dream. Mm. Yeah. You, you, you cannot believe that you're yeah, now part I of KCFC while well, you're yet to believe. Uh, we'll now take it back, uh, your football journey. When and how do you start playing football? The viewer out there wants to know. Like, to be honest, my football journey has not been very easy mm. Mm, because I had my parents used to push me to, to read books all the time and I had to resist like, because I had to, f like, to follow my dream. And then I started from Odikampa Primary School where I was under academy called Sparta 09 and I was under a coach called Coach Pat Sonko. But we used to play various tournaments, camps, like, like you know, because like when you're young, you just play football to enjoy. Okay. Yeah, that's why, uh, that's where my journey started from. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then after Old Kampala Primary School, where next? Then I went to Old Kampala SS, mm -hmm. where I was under a coach called Chamba De Yusuf. To be honest, he's, he, like, he, he pushed me because I was too small, but I had the talent. Mm -hmm. but like you know when you're very young you just play to enjoy now he used to push me he used to tell me that Fred, you can make it you can make it and then i was, first of all i played there was a team called fourth like friends of football like it has so many legends like saddam juma balinya juma gift ali kezon all of them they passed through that that team and then i used to like we played in the first division and then books and then first division and then play for the school but to be honest i could like during that time like i couldn't play because i was very small i would come up, had very huge guys tall and i used just to travel with the team for the nationals just to travel and then to eat and then just to watch like pretend they're playing and then like i came back home okay. like you know yeah. yeah and then from that like I was in that situation for almost three years, okay. but I was growing up. Mm. I was growing up because I was summoned for the Coca-Cola team, which went to South Africa. Like I got a chance, and then I went. When I came back, like I went for the Airtel. Mm. From there, like I was gaining confidence, okay. and then I got a chance when I was going form four. They they called me. They told me that Fad you wanted to join St. Mary's Tende. Like I couldn't believe it because my brother used to be there and then I used to visit him during the visitation day and then I used to watch to see the school. The school was very nice. Okay. And then my dream was to be there. Mm -hmm. Then I got a chance, I went there. It was my form four. But the first year was very hard because the competition was was very much. Okay. I had to, to wait for one year, but I used to travel with the team travel with the team and then I play some few games they just tell me that you see this is the situation this is the situation and then I was in that situation for almost one year mm. when I went to senior five then I started playing because I had the potential and I, I was very hard working and then I played I played and then I was in like you know like in the dorm it was a weekend and then they called me they told me I thought they are calling in the office then I went there, they told me, Fad, you want to give you a contract, you play for Vipers. Wow. Like, I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. And then I, f like, first of all, I told the master who had come to pick me, and then, like, I told him, are you joking? And then he told me, no. Mm -hmm. And then I went there, they told me, Fad, you have to sign such and such. Like, I had to, to accept it because it was my dream. Mm -hmm. And then I signed. And then I said, like I, stay, like I stayed playing for the, for the school, for those tournaments, like the Nationals, East Africa. And then the, the third term vacation, like I had to train to the, I had to go to the club. And then I couldn't believe it. Like, like training, like I was training with Kezilon, 
um, Kalisa, ek, Sechi Sambu, Ismail Watenga, like I couldn't believe. Mm. And then I trained for almost like three, uh, three, three months, sorry. And then I got a chance. You know, I was now in senior six. Okay. And then I got a chance to play. Because we, during that time, we were under coach Miguel. Mm. And then he told me, Father, I'm going to give you a chance like you play. Mm. And then I couldn't believe it because I had my friends in school. They used to tell me, ah, Fad, do you, 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 like you train with Vipers. Mm. And for me, I used to, to bounce in school like I'm a big man now. Mm. But I, I was in Dom and then they told me, Fad, you're going to play the, the game against Barra City. That day I didn't sleep. Mm. Like I was thinking, hey, the guys are very huge. <laughs> how, like how will I make it? Okay. And then I had my my friend called Ojo Bide. He used to push me. Yeah. I thought you can do it. You can do it. And then Zaga was there, mm. like because I grown up, I grew up with Zaga. Mm. And then, like he told me, Father, I'll help you. Mm. The day came, we ate the food. Mm. Because to be honest, I didn't eat much <laughs> because I was thinking about the about game. About the game, yeah. yeah. And then we reached, mm -hmm. they, they told us we go to the home up. I was there because I was shivering, it was my first time. And then coming out of the tunnel, I saw the crowds, I couldn't believe it. And then Kalisa told me, Fad, you can't, you can't. And then we started warming up, they played, they played 45, and then we came back. Mm -hmm. Like, and then coach told me, Fad, now second half we're going to play. You can't think about it. Okay. I just went like I just went straight to the toilet. I couldn't believe. <laughs> then after I came back, I started yeah. talking to myself that Fad, you can make it, you can make it. And then they called me, Fad, come, don't warm up, come, come. Then, then I said they called, and let me first go, ah, come, come, you you go and play, you, you, like you just enjoy. Mm. My first touch, I got a penalty. Wow. Like I wanted to take it, but I my confidence was very low. Low, I couldn't. Okay. And then the guy told me, let me help you. Yeah. And then he took it, we scored. Like I felt like I have made an assist. Yes. Then I started building my confidence like that. Like From that. then on, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow, that, what, a, what a story, I, I should say, because uh, you talk you. about your time, um, I mean, back then at four, where you not play because you're small, up until you made your Uganda Premier League debut. That's, that's pretty tremendous, I should say, and awesome. Now, Thank you. Um, Coming in from Vipers, and um, what happened after? Did you ever go out on loan? I mean, how did you get to cases you want? Now, what happens after your debut and up to now? Yeah, like I played, like I played like two games, and then the coach, the coach moved on. Mm. That was Coach Miguel? Yeah, he moved on. Okay. And then they brought new coaches, okay. but we had them, we had the same coaches in school, and then the team was, the team was still strong. Mm. And then I saw when I, like I saw when I, like I won't play much games, and then I told the coach, like you just loaned me bodies. So you asked for the loan yourself? Yeah, okay. uh, like, like I asked it. And then when I was home, like Coach Abda called me, and then he told me, Fad, like I want to work with you. Mm. But during that time, when I was still schooling, like I'm taking you somehow behind, mm. like Coach Abda was the coach, but I was still schooling in Form 5. Okay. But he used to tell us to come and train, mm. but he used not to focus on us because we are still young. Okay. Now, like I felt, even Coach Abda has called me, mm. like maybe I'm growing up. And then I had to, to, like, to take that chance. Mm. Then they gave me the loan, I came to police. But life at police, first of all, it was somehow hard mm. because for me, I had grown up from Chitende. Mm. Yeah, I kind of had to, to face my new life. Mm. I had, to face, yeah, I had to face new friends, mm -hmm. new organization, like that. And then, the, like the first start training, I came, like I knew no one. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, footballers, you have to be quick in thinking. Yeah, yeah so I started greeting the guys, how are you? You lost, mm -hmm. like, 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 when, like when you come, you just say like, this guy has been in police. Okay. So it you, is, you, it you, it was you, my first day. quickly had to fit yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I trained. The guys were so friendly because, to be honest, this, that season, it was my best season mm. ever in your life. Yeah, so ever far. in my life. Because the coach was supporting me. 
my fellow players used mm. to motivate me. Okay. Like, yeah, they used to tell me, Fad, you can do this, Fad, you can do this, Fad, you're taking us forward. Yeah. Like, I had to, to, like, to build my confidence again. Okay. Yeah. How many goals did you score in that season and how many six, assists? Six and then eight assists. Oh, wow, six goals and eight yes. assists as a midfielder? Yeah. Wow. And uh, any penalties? Nope. All were open goals. Open goals. That's top class, I should say. So mm. life after police, what happens? You go back to Vipers? Yeah, and I went back. Like I went back. Mm. But during the pre-season, like I got an injury, mm. which took like two months. Okay. Like I had to sit. I remember Vipers is, is a big team. Mm. It brings every good player from, from every direction. Now, like I had to, like I had to, to take the doctor's, doctor's, doctor's decision, decision. And yeah. yeah. Mm. But remember the guys we are training, yeah. and those guys, they are very good on the ball. Yeah. Now the coach couldn't focus on me because mm. I was sick. Mm. And they were playing friendlies, mm, games, and for me I was just there. Mm. But like reaching when, my, when I was now okay, like mm. I couldn't compete because everyone was the top level okay. and then I decided as, like I said now oh, let me go back to, to police okay yeah and then I had to to, to ask for the loan again mm -hmm. but the good thing they replied me and then I had to go back but during that period my contract was ending okay yeah and then the second the second round the second round I was I was in police and I had those issues of the national ID mm -hmm. It was taking time. Mm. No. Wow, so now that's when you leave, um, I mean, you're given your readies later, yeah. and then you make it to KCCFC. Um, mm. how, how, I mean, how did you get to KCFC, first of all? Like, like Kiza, Kiza helped me out, mm. Kiza, Opoloto, mm. um, Okelo, they, like they told me, Father, like you come and join us. Mm. Like you come and talk to the coach, and then I came, and then I talked to the coach. The coach told me, "Yeah, Fad, you can join." Mm. And then I started training, training, and then I, like I like I impressed the coach, and then the coach gave me the chance. Wow. Up until yeah. May, when uh, mm. when when so June, when mm. the club made that announcement that you were the first signing yeah. for the football club. First of all, congratulations. What shirt number are you going to be putting on next season? Shirt number fifteen. Shirt number fifteen. Yeah. Do you know any legend for the football club that has done that shirt number before? Yeah, Philip Omond. Who? Philip Omond. Philip Omond, yeah. And uh, anyone else that you know, probably player? Mm, Saddam Juma. Okay, wow, it's a very iconic number, I should mm. say. And uh, mm. are you, I mean, the fans out there want to know, are you going to defend that shirt number? Because Philip Omond, the person who done that jersey, has, ma has done, before he died, did tremendous things in that jersey. So the fan out there wants to know. Like, for me, I, like, I believe in myself, I'll do it. Mm. Because, first of all, I'm still young, mm. like, I'm still learning. Mm. Yeah, I'll do it. Mm. Like the fans should expect a lot from me because mm. I'm attacking midfielder. Uh, like I'll give them joy mm. by scoring goals, mm. by dis mm. like displaying the ball in the midfield. Yeah, yeah, all such kind. Okay, now um, as we wind up, the 2020-2021 season will be starting very soon. Uh, there is hope that the season will start. The club will be participating in the Uganda Premier League, the Uganda Cup, and in the Cup Confederations Cup. What are your goals as a person? We know the team has goals, but as a player, what are your goals? As a player, I want to win trophies mm. for the club. Mm. I want to like to make that record, mm. like to take the team in the CAF Confederation groups. Okay. And then I want to be summoned again on the national team. All right. Yeah, and I had and like I have my own target for the goals. Mm. You have to yeah. score a lot of goals and yeah, a lot, lot of, of goals. Assists. Yeah, and then Wow, I should say your story is a tremendous one and it's a very inspiring one. I'm sure the athlete out there has picked a leaf from it. So in, you. in your final words to the to the youngster out there who wants to be like Fahad, who wants to be, I mean, who wants to play football at the same time just like you did, just inspire them as we wind this up. Mm, what I could say is, first of all, believe in yourself. Listen to your parents. Like, don't let anyone tell you that you can't make it because everything is possible in this world. Like, when you're at home, think about we are ones like you. You can also be even better than us if you keep on working hard. Mm -hmm. That's what I can say. Thank you very much. I should say you've had a wonderful debut on the KCFC TV show. Uh, next time we'll be having you here as probably the top assister for the league for the Shall coming season. Thank you very much. That is 
Ashraf Mugume, the first signing for KCCFC for the 2020-2021 transfer window. That is the summer transfer window. A very inspiring and a tremendous story from him because he had to wait his chance until he got his first start. That was back then when he was still at four. Up until now, that is at KCCFC, his dream club. We'll be having more and more guests on this show. Now we'll be going to a break. And when we return, there's still plenty on the show. Don't move away. Favorite shirt number? Four. Favorite letter of the alphabet? R. Favorite color? Black. Favorite designer? Louis Vuitton. Role model? Sadia Ramos. Favorite car? Mercedes Benz. Dream destination? Europe. Favorite music? Reggae. Best musician. Ramen Vigo. Best footballer. Cristiano Ronaldo. Best player you've played with. Philbert Obem Chan. Best game you have played. Do, say Kafa Finals against Azam FC. Worst game you have played. It was against Busoga United away. League game. Uganda Premier League. Favorite food. Rice and meat. Jeans or sweet one? Jeans. Small cars or big cars? Big cars. Moccasins or gentle shoes? None. Shirts or t-shirts? T-shirts. Sneakers or sandals? Sneakers. Name you give your son? Badru, Fajala. Name you give your daughter? Aisha. Trip to a desert, trip to Iceland? Trip to Iceland. Face or FIFA? FIFA. Saturday night at the bar or Saturday night with the boys playing FIFA? Saturday night with the boy, boys playing FIFA. Like we told you, we have the fans experience for this week's show. Remember, a week ago, we launched the Wear Your Local Jersey campaign. And this campaign is to promote the Uganda football industry. And we had all the Uganda Premier League clubs support this campaign. And also, a press conference was held in relation to this campaign where football clubs in Uganda have all agreed to support this campaign, that is the Wear Your Local Jersey campaign. And this week we had fans' experiences where we asked fans to have a say on this campaign and also they rallied on other fans to come and support the Uganda football industry by buying the local apparel. This is what happened when we caught up with these fans on this show. Amanya Ganga is the Sala Namaganda, Zendimwagzuwa Kesisi, Okuva Mobuto, Tatanga Yawa Gira Kesisi, Kunalabida, Nangan and Taniko Juagira. Na ye campaign yeno jetu launchi nze, it's baji ita yambalo mjozi guo, guo wagwe timu yo e ya waka. Eh? Ukusingo kugenda nga mdowntown yo kugule mjozi imilala. Eh? Nange ndo uzo mlanga nagu, mula ba, mlanga nagu ulide, mjozi gugu no munda ba nguamba de. Eh? Mko wola mnalis entinda, akole la kunasa road, mko wola haji kalunji, akole la kumkuruma road, mko wola Dennis. Akole la kunasa, road, mkuu wala ba wakuziba state council bona. Ba manala, si mwogele le Gerardi Mchibi, chia manimachi in the division. Mkuu wala, kasirie, kasirie jorie mange, yoche manyo ondaba, njaga la oje mugule mjozi. Muve mwebi ebyo kukula chi, ebyo kukula eje mjozi jozi ne muambale, mje mugule mjozi, mjozi murunji. Eh? Tuambalo mjozi, timu ya feyo kaya elimu Afrika yoka. Ye, yeah, jeba manyi mu Uganda, mu Afrika, eri kulukalu lwa Afrika. Kese siyo ka jeba manyi. Teri timu ndala, esinge eno. Ye, yeah. ulaba na hawa antubo, nabo na hawa veri batu kopa, bu kopi. Bulicha tuko, ulaba jaba kola cheba chitu kopa. Mujia mugule mjozi jafe. Mjozi jejiri, esente ziba mjozi zizgendo kola chie, okulabi ila kilabu. Muve mwebye vyo kugamba. Mbu tetugenda kwa kugula mjozi, kubanga tetugenda kulaba mpira. Ogugule, ogwambale, oite kustuetu ngozimba. Eh? Na hebi hebi okuda ugama mkubanga timu yiyo jango gulo mjozi. Mkunga wa gizuwe wanaje muli wa Uganda muno muambale mjozi ya waka kubanga mjozi ya waka tuwela smart tunyirira ate umetimu za feze tumanyide ze zitumanyide. Mbuliwe tuja mchisawe ne tuwela mtu wa eh, tuwa gazisaba ntuwa mpira na haba na batuwa la vila kufe neba manye choku kola muagire nye mipira jawa no kusinga muagire jewe mugule mjozi ya fe tufune sente zina tu yingi zanga mzina labili la timu zafe zina beza wa timu zafe kubanga na mwe chwa decha covid mchilaba nkunga mwanyi na ze tuwa haiga tuwa harubega owa rich daddy na masuba 
mujye mugure mijozi aboje aksi mujye mugure mijozi ne kunga makumbi mukiyembe nawe jangwa gura mijozi kumanya oli mwagizi wachi ne kunga isa sechito mwe na mujye mugure mijozi kubanga bwe tutagure mijozi timu ya fete ya ku malako Now this week we had a challenge at the football club and now most of the times you know your stars for playing football. But did you know aside from having a most valuable player, you can have what they call a most valuable dancer. Now this is what happened when the football club took on this challenge. Take a look. Hello, my name is Ake Ulona. I work at KCCA Football Club as a marketing officer. As you've noticed on our social media platforms, I'm talking about Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, there's been a video trending of us dancing to a song called Jerusalem. This was done in South Africa by a singer or musician called Master KJ. <laughs> the reason as to why we came up with something like this, it's, um, it's trending all over the world. Different companies have done, have done a challenge to this song. And KCCFC, we don't only play football, we do really get in touch with trend. So we decided to pick up the idea. The purpose for this was majorly to put out the brand, the visibility, and then also create awareness for most of our merchandise, merchandise items, including the jersey we're wearing in the video, the caps, the scarves, and the flags we're holding in the video. Secondly, this was also a co-curricular activity for we, the staff members, the football players, the technical team, and you who watch the video. This brings about the bond, like you noticed in the video, everyone had fun, everyone participated, enjoyed what they were doing, were happy. Besides, what's work without play? This took us two days to make, and this was really fun because we had people who knew exactly what to do, who were perfect at the, what they were doing, I'm talking about Kato. I'm sure all of you saw Kato enjoying that video. I'm talking about the finance manager, Michael Chirunga. They really grasped the strokes really fast, but then some of us a bit struggled with them, though we eventually caught up with the dance moves. Eventually, everything was perfected, and that's the result that you saw on, that, on the video. Among the dance moves, there was something called the shuffle. I think everyone enjoyed this one most, as much as the strokes were a bit a bit hard <laughs> to pull out. Some of us got really confused. People would go left and others would go right, but eventually it was what you saw on screen. I can show you some of the things that the choreographer showed us or taught us to do in the shuffle. The one not that hard, but one. <laughs> then you'd have to go behind and then, and then, and then what? Yeah, something like that. I don't want to show you much. Enjoy the video. Jerusalem,
guys, man, that thing is not easy. That was really tremendous stuff from the players, everyone at the football club this week, the board members, legend, Tom Luanga. When did you ever last see him dance? Most of you saw him when we were still playing, the lucky ones that saw him, but we had him, the chairman, the football players, the staff, I mean the CEO, everyone at the football club. Guys, in, it, in times like this, where there's no football, there's still something to smile about because you can have things like this, the challenges, and also to keep your fans and the stakeholders, I mean, happy and keeping tabs with the football club. And that's been it for this week, week's show. Because remember, we had a challenge on the show that is the Jerusalem challenge. And we also had fans' experiences where the fans gave their opinions about the way your local jersey campaign. We had a guest on the show, Mugume Ashraf. Most of them call him Fadiga, giving us his football journey. And we had club news and also the fan zone where the fans gave their opinions about the extension of the league till the 3rd of December. Guys, that has been it for this week's show, episode 23. And now next week, episode 24, we'll even be back and hotter with still a lot of stuff. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje, and thank you very much for being with us tonight. <laughs>